اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مذاکرہ بے شیخ محمد فوزی الکرکری قدس اللہ سرہ سیکنگ پروفیٹک انٹرسیشن اکراس ٹائم اینڈ اسپیس وین وی سی دیٹ وی آل سیک انٹرسیشن فرام دا مصطفیٰ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وی مسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ دا سیکنگ ٹرانسینڈس دا کمفائنس آف ٹائم اٹ از ناٹ میئرلی اے میٹر آف دا پیسٹ فیو سینچریز وٹ اسٹریچ از بیک ٹو دا ویری بگننگ فرام دا مومنٹ اللہ کریٹڈ ایڈم alayhi salam and continues until the hour of resurrection the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam himself declared bu'athu ana wa sa'a kahatain i have been sent and the hour as these two when he says these two he references his fingers indicating the profound connection between his arrival and the ultimate end in essence the hour symbolizing the culmination of creation was set in motion at the very moment creation began This implies that the Prophet ﷺ already held the mantle of prophethood and messengerhood before even the preserved tablet, Allah, where the entirety of creation's timeline is inscribed was written. Therefore, all the prophets, messengers, and saints who have graced the cycle of creation are themselves seekers of the intercession of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ. Their own legitimacy and the truth of their messages are ultimately validated and depend only on the seal of the Prophet ﷺ. However, comprehending this profound reality requires a heart filled with deep reverence and love for the Prophet. Those who lack this essential glorification perceive the Prophet وسلم, only through a limited earthly lens. They see him merely as a man who walked among people, partook in ordinary activities, and delivered a set of rules and regulations. Their understanding is confined to a transactional view of religion. Follow the rules to gain paradise, disobey them, and face the fire. Such a limited perspective fails to grasp the true essence of the Prophet's significance. He is not merely a conveyor of rules, but rather the very secret and elixir of life itself. He is the gateway through which we access the Divine Presence, the portal to true understanding and spiritual enlightenment. Recognizing this profound reality brings not only ajr, but also deep inner knowledge and transformative understanding. Similarly, The Prophet's intercession for his Ummah transcends the limitations of earthly time. It is not confined to the historical period of his physical presence, but extends from the very beginning of humanity with Adam salam and continues infinitely into the future. All who belong to his Ummah, who embrace monotheism and sincerely believe in Allah, his angels, his books, and his messengers, are entitled to his intercession regardless of whether they live during his earthly lifetime or not. This concept is beautifully illustrated in the following hadith. إِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ مَا جَنَّاسُ بَعْضُهُمْ فِي بَعْضُ فَيَأْتُونَ آدَمَ فَيَقُولُونَ أَشْفَعَ لَنَا إِلَى رَبِّكَ فَيَقُولُ لَسْتُ لَهَا وَلَكَنْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِإِبْرَاهِيمِ فَإِنَّهُ خَلِيلُ الرَّحْمَنِ فَيَأْتُونَ إِبْرَاهِيمِ فَيَقُولُ لَسْتُ لَهَا وَلَكَنْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِمُوسَى فَإِنَّهُ كَلِيمُ اللَّهِ فَيَأْتُونَ مُوسَى فَيَقُولُ لَسْتُ لَهَا وَلَكَنْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِعِيسَى فَإِنَّهُ رُوحُ اللَّهِ وَكَلِمَتُهُ فَيَأْتُونَ عِيسَى فَيَقُولُ لَسْتُ لَهَا وَلَكَنْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِمُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ فَيَأْتُونِي فَأَقُولُ أَنَا لَهَا On the day of resurrection the people will surge with each other like waves And then they will come to Adam and say, Please intercede for us with your Lord. He will say, I am not fit for that, but you'd better go to Abraham, as he is the Khalil of the Beneficent. They will go to Abraham, he will say, I am not fit for that, but you'd better go to Moses, as he is the one to whom Allah spoke directly. So they will go to Moses and he will say, I am not fit for that, but you'd better go to Jesus, as he is Ruh Allah and Kalimatuh, his word. They will go to Jesus and he will say, I am not fit for that, but you'd better go to Muhammad. They would come to me and I would say, I am for that. The question arises, why approach Adam salam, or any other prophet for intercession when the ultimate power of intercession rests with the prophet Muhammad wasallam? The answer lies in the understanding that the Prophet وسلم, embodies the collective essence of all prophets and messengers. Seeking intercession from any of them ultimately leads to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, for he is the culmination and embodiment of their collective spiritual legacy. 
جمعية الأنبياء والمرسلين. Therefore, the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم holds the exclusive right of intercession. Even those who lived alongside previous prophets like Adam, Moses, and Isa عليه السلام will ultimately seek his intercession on the day of judgment. Just as we who came after him hope for his intercession, so too will they turn to him, recognizing him as the final and most perfect intercessor. They will be guided to him, and upon their return, the Prophet will declare, Ana laha, I am for it. From this, we can discern that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is indeed the elixir of life, a prophet, messenger, and saint for all times and all worlds. His authority and influence are not bound by the constraints of time or space, echoing the hadith, لو كان موسى عليه السلام حيا ما وسعه إلا أن يتبعني. If Moses were alive, he would feel it absolutely necessary to follow me. Indeed, he is the ultimate guide and leader, and even prophets like Moses السلام, were they to exist in the same time as the Prophet Muhammad, would be obligated to follow his guidance. This demonstrates the universality and supremacy of the Prophet's message. While the specific rulings and regulations may vary according to the needs of different times and communities, as seen in the case of Moses and his people, the underlying essence of the religion remains the same. This brings us to the fundamental truth in Nadeen and Allah al-Islam. Certainly, Allah's only religion is Islam. Al-Imran 19. It is a religion of pure monotheism and submission to the divine will, and its essence remains unchanged throughout time. All prophets and messengers from Adam السلام, to Moses السلام, to Jesus السلام, were Muslims. Therefore, terms like Christianity and Judaism do not represent separate religions, but rather refer to the specific sets of rulings and regulations revealed to prophets like Moses and Jesus السلام, for their respective communities and times. The underlying religion remains Islam, the core principle of submission to the one God. While the specific rulings may adapt and evolve according to the needs of different eras, the essence of Islam remains constant and unchanging. This is why Allah sends messengers to bring new guidance and adapt the outward practices of the religion to suit the specific needs of the time and context in which they appear. With the physical manifestation of the Prophet وسلم, came the glorious Qur'an. He gathered for us the wisdom of all previous prophets and messengers, their teachings enshrined within this holy book. The Qur'an, a divine gift, remains impervious to alteration, distortion, or change, ensuring the preservation of its message for eternity. Thus, the matters of faith and practice stand firm, forever established through our Prophet وسلم, by the will of Allah. While the mantle of prophethood and messengerhood concluded with our beloved Prophet, the continuation of wilaya was ordained by the Prophet himself وسلم, when he declared, that every century Allah would send individuals to renew the faith of this nation. This renewal does not imply altering the foundational principles of the religion, for those remain eternally established by the Prophet. Rather, these individuals, with their profound understanding and connection to the Divine, would reinterpret and apply existing rulings to the specific context of their era. They would issue fatwas relevant to contemporary challenges, breathing fresh life into the faith, ensuring its continued relevance, and guiding the community through the evolving landscape of time, all in accordance with the Prophet's vision. For instance, the permissibility of performing prayers on airplanes, a modern development, is an example of such ishtihad. This does not represent a change in the religion itself, but rather a considered interpretation of its principles to address a contemporary situation. This dynamic process ensures that Islam remains relevant and applicable to the lives of Muslims in every age. Ultimately, all understanding and interpretation must be grounded in the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who remains the ultimate guide and reference point for all Muslims, regardless of their time or place. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallayta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim wa barak ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama barakta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim fil alameen. إنك حميد مجيد